explosive. Mm. Yeah. One thing about the double doors to the restroom is sometimes if I go over a large bump, they'll just fly right open. Then they're flapping around back there as I'm driving and I can't wait to stop, pull over, and secure them again. So I'm going to fix that problem once and for all. As you can see, this left hand door has a latch right here. So if that one, if the right hand door doesn't come flying open, the left hand door will always stay put. So I'm going to secure this right hand door right here by installing that latch at the very bottom. By the bottom I mean right on the inside right down here. I went and picked up this little latch right here. Well to have something for that bolt to slide into I have this piece of I guess it's about half inch thick Delrin. It's a type of plastic that they use in the food industry. There it is, that's all. Now we're going to drill a little hole in it and a couple of screw holes to fasten it. And we'll put a little silicone in there to keep it watertight and install that. We'll take a trip to the bandsaw to cut it just about in half because it's a little bit long. So on the inside of the door, I'm taking that piece of plastic that I had fitted with some tape and I stuck it on here and I'm taking this right here. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead, I don't know if I can let you see that, and just trace around where the bolt goes into it so I can have a reference of where I'm going to drill a hole. And you switch out the drill bit to one that's a little bigger. Because with plastic it's easy to split it or to crack it if you just try to go all in one shot with a large drill bit. So There it is. And there it is. It's not going to go anywhere. And when it's closed, looks good. Well, those doors flying open was a source of aggravation, and I'm happy I was able to take care of that. Looking around, I see that shower wand's kind of yellowing, and I'd like to replace that. Down further, the toilet seat's kind of yellowing too, and I don't know about you, but I don't like anything dingy yellowing as far as bathrooms go because it kind of grosses me out. It doesn't fit the rest of the bathroom with that new vent that I installed up there, or with the LED light that I installed up there. So I'm going to fix those a uh, couple of things in there and that's going to be for probably tomorrow. I'll go ahead and show you that and in the future I'd like to make a shop built teak bath mat for the drain down there at the bottom. That'd be great. So if you guys like the video go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe that way you can get updates for future videos and as always ask questions in the comment section and I'll try to answer them for you. Thanks, people, and have a great day.